This exhibit is a smaller version of a very large show that I had in Toronto. And it, uh, it's about three quarters Kintsugi-based artwork. The other quarter is earlier work, which, which the Kintsugi work came out of. It's, uh, it's a very different type of work for me. So it's this, this type of work it only has about uh, two years of depth to it. This work is really different because my work was always geometric, which is why I have that other quarter. So uh, whereas the work was very Mondrian-esque before, very, uh, with very straight lines, all those uh, straight angles are, are literally exploded. Like they're, that's how I start my work now. I shatter things, I break things. I'm not finicky at all. I'm not worried about uh, how to balance things so carefully anymore because Kintsugi, which is what the name of the show is, is all about uh, basically just being open to where life takes you more accepting of, of the, uh, the problems that come our way in life. I was involved with, and I still am involved with, this uh, auction to fundraise for women who are caught up in trafficking overseas. And one of the images used over the years was a kintsugi bowl. Kintsugi is the art of taking damaged or broken pottery, repairing it, and instead of hiding the breakages, the breakages are actually accented with gold. It's not a matter of hiding your history, if we take it to the human level. It's a matter of you know, uh, being honest about your history and understanding and admitting that our history goes into making us who we are. And uh, that the wholeness is possible only when we pick up the pieces and make something new with our life and keep on moving. Don't stay broken. The metaphor of Kintsugi for human experience, you know, again, picking up the pieces, moving on, accepting the breaks and the cracks and the bumps and bruises in life, I couldn't help but to see that as being filtered through the human form. So I started using the human form, uh, in particular women's faces. I also look at the expressions I, I chose to use. You're not sure if these women are in agony or in ecstasy? And I, my answer would be yes to both, because that, those images to me are like my summary of the experience of life. You walk this fine line between agony and ecstasy. You'll have footage, time-lapse footage of me producing work, but you'll also have footage of people shattering these panels. They break like ceramic. And, and then people like my daughter putting things back together like a puzzle. Uh, and then I take it from there, and you'll see step-by-step uh, -step footage as well as some interesting play of uh, words and music. And so there's a lot of videos and some still shots. I think it's wonderful because you get to see what happens behind the scenes. This, the Kintsugi work and the philosophy that it falls within in Japanese tradition and so on, I've only scratched the surface. There's so much, there's so many more ripples to explore.